What's up everybody, Venom here with a quick guide on PAL World. Let's get right into it. So something that I've seen pop up kind of everywhere already is going to be how to get Paldium Fragments. So Paldium Fragments are used to make several things throughout the world of PAL World, including the PAL Spheres, which are needed to catch PALs and bring them back to your base. So you're going to need a lot of them in order to make progress in this game, even a little bit. But how exactly do you get Paldium Fragments? So there are three ways total to get the fragments that you're going to need, and the first is what I call the least effective way. Uh, this is scouring the ground for dropped pieces of Paldium, and it takes a really long time because you're doing a lot of running around and searching for these little Paldium fragments on the ground. They're like little shiny blue rocks that you'll see. I will say that while you're doing this, you can find other things on the ground like leather and more Pal spheres just kind of lying about, so it is a useful way to find the Paldium Fragments since you're kind of doing more than one thing at a time, but again, it takes a really long time because you're just going to be searching the ground, and to me, it's not worth as much as it gives you, I guess, so I wouldn't recommend doing this unless you're a complete beginner and you have absolutely no other way of mining the rock yourself. So the second way is going to be to get the Paldium Fragments by mining these shiny blue rocks that are all around the map. And they hold a certain amount of Paldium, which is completely dependent on the world's difficulty level. So like normal difficulty seems to drop five Paldium Fragments total when it's fully mined out. Um, I have a guide that's a beginner's guide for this game about making tools. And I'm going to suggest that if you're going to do this method, you at least have a pickaxe because having a pickaxe is going to streamline this process instead of punching it like 50,000 times just to get five Paldium Fragments. I made that mistake in the beginning. You can do that, absolutely. I just don't think that it is the most quick way of doing this. So I would suggest to do this mining method of these shiny blue rocks all around the world to use a pickaxe to really make it faster. The other thing that is kind of interesting is when you build your base, there's a radius around it. And pals can gather paldium fragments from those nodes for you if they have the mining trait. Um, and they're in the bounds of that radius. So any nodes that are within that radius, they'll be able to go and mine out for you as well. And if you have space in a chest, they will actually put it in the chest for you. If you don't, they seemingly just drop it on the ground somewhere, so you'll have to look around for it. And lastly is going to be my absolute favorite way to get the Paldium Fragments, and that's going to be by using the Crusher Machine. Now, the Crusher Machine is unlocked via the Technology tab at level 8, and you are going to have to spend two Technology Points to unlock it. But it's absolutely well worth it because it turns stone into Paldium Fragments. And stone is a lot easier to come by in PAL World than the Paldium, it seems, the Paldium nodes. So another cool thing is you can make a stone mill inside of your base for your PALs to help you work with. So you have an unlimited supply of stone. And it's just a great way to be able to turn something that you can get more easily into these fragments to use for other recipes within the game PAL World. Now, the other thing is if you have a watering PAL, they will also be able to work on the crusher for you by shooting water at it. Um, and that's after you add something to the queue. So let's say you add Paldium fragments, then they're going to walk over to it while you, you know, are doing it as well. And then we'll start shooting water at it like this one did for me. Um, and then once that happens, it speeds up the process of creation. So the more water pals that you have or watering pals that you have, the faster it's going to be to make these from the crusher and the crusher does other things so it's not just for these fragments but of course this is a fragment guide so i wanted to make sure that i touched on that a good bit it is used for other things so even if you do go out of your way to get the crusher it's going to be well worth it regardless in the long run because you can make other things with it as well and that's going to do it for this quick pal world guide as always if you like the video then like the video. And if you like my content in general, then please subscribe to my channel because it means the absolute world to me. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!